hello viewers in today's class we are going to take up one more uh, integral involving Dirac delta function so in our previous videos uh, we have solved uh, some problems related to uh, Dirac delta function so here we'll solve this uh, problem that is we have to integrate uh, uh, cos x delta of sin x from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 now let us call this integral as i right so here uh, we'll make use of uh, this property that is delta of g of x is equal to sigma i 1 over uh, absolute value of g prime of x i delta of x minus x i now let us uh, use this property to evaluate this integral so uh, let us uh, first write uh, this uh, integral in the form minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 and cos x and delta of sin x dx right okay so now uh, here we can take this cos x as uh, f of x and this uh, sin x can be taken as uh, g of x right so here we have the function uh, g of x so we have uh, g of x as sin x right so now uh, what we will do uh, we will transform this delta of sin x into this form right this form so for uh, transforming it into this form uh, what we will do the first step is to solve the equation uh, gx equal to 0 right so g of x equal to 0 means sin x equal to 0 now uh, this is a trigonometric equation and uh, the solution of uh, uh, sin x is equal to 0 is given by x is equal to n pi where n is uh, an integer right so uh, n is 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on right so here uh, we have to select only those solutions to this equation uh, which lies uh, between these two uh, limits right so here uh, we have uh, this is minus pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 right so this is minus 90 degrees and here we have 270 degrees now we see that uh, uh, between these two limits uh, we have uh, uh, 0 and uh, uh, here we have pi right so here we have pi and now uh, let us see this equation so sin x is equal to 0 so the solutions are x equal to n pi and if we take n is equal to 0 and 1 then the value of x is 0 times pi and 1 pi which is 0 and pi and only these two solutions that is x equal to 0 and x equal to pi uh, lie between uh, minus pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 right so uh, these are the uh, two solutions of this equation g of x equal to 0 right now our uh, next step is to find the derivative of g of x right so g of x is sin x so g prime of x is cos of x right and uh, now we'll find uh, the value of g prime of x at 0 and pi so the first one is g prime of 0 is equal to cos of 0 and this is equal to 1 and g prime of pi is equal to cos of pi that is equal to minus 1 right in other words we can say that uh, here we have two solutions and uh, the first one is x1 and this can be taken as 0 and the other solution is uh, x2 which can be taken as pi right 
now uh, once we have uh, calculated all these things now let us uh, move to this formula so here uh, we have a delta of x uh, g of x and uh, we can write uh, this expression as sigma of i is equal to 1 to 2 1 over uh, the absolute value of g prime of uh, x of i and delta of x minus xi so here we have taken uh, the values of i from 1 to 2 because we have two solutions x1 and x2 right so now we can write or uh, uh, this expression as 1 over uh, mod of uh, g prime of x1 delta of x minus x1 plus 1 over uh, mod of g prime of x2 and delta of x minus x2 right okay so now uh, substituting the values of uh, x1 as 0 and x2 as pi we can write 1 over mod of g prime of uh, uh, 0 then here we have delta of x minus 0 and plus 1 over absolute value of g prime of pi and delta of x minus pi right okay now g prime of uh, 0 is 1 so we have 1 over mod of 1 delta of x minus 0 plus 1 over uh, mod of g prime of pi is uh, mod of minus 1 and delta of x minus pi and uh, now 1 over mod of 1 is simply 1 so we can simply write delta of x minus 0 and here mod of minus 1 is 1 so 1 over 1 is 1 so we have simply delta of x minus pi right so the value of uh, uh, delta of g of x uh, is given by uh, the sum of these two uh, delta functions now let us uh, substitute this value of delta of gx uh, uh, over here right so we have uh, i is equal to from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 then we have cos x and uh, uh, for delta of sin x because this is uh, delta of sin x right so delta of sin x is uh, given by uh, delta of x minus 0 plus delta of x minus pi and dx now writing these, uh, this integral as a sum of two integrals we can have uh, minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 cos x delta of x minus 0 uh, dx plus uh, minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 uh, cos x delta of x minus pi dx right now to evaluate this uh, these two integrals I uh, will make use of uh, this rule right so here we see that uh, from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 uh, this uh, uh, point that is x equal to 0 it lies between these two uh, limits so uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the value of this integral as simply a uh, cos of 0 right because this is delta of x minus uh, a and the value of a is 0 right so this is f of x and uh, uh, using this rule uh, we have the value of this integral as the value of the function at uh, x equal to a so f of a so here f of uh, x so f of a means f of 0 and f of 0 is cos of 0 and applying the same uh, argument here uh, we have uh, this is delta of x minus a so the value of a is pi this is f of x and uh, the value of this integral is again uh, the value of this function at x equal to or a is equal to pi so here we have cos of pi so cos of 0 is 1 and uh, cos of pi is minus 1 
so this is 1 minus 1 that is 0 so viewers the value of this integral is equal to 0